Now, let's talk about one thing. As we think of the context of relationships, we can right now connect this to the topic of romantic relationships, but this actually applies to relationships in general. In the work of, of human growth and development, one of the big theories that is typically talked about, that is typically worked on, is a concept of attachment theory. Attachment theory is a concept that was proposed by a very famous psychoanalyst called Mary Ainsworth. Anyways, the work about this theory, this lady Mary Ainsworth was trained under the umbrella of what is psychoanalytic theory. Psychoanalytic theory is the first major theory in the history of psychology which made actually the field of psychology quite popular. Psychoanalytic theory proposes this idea that each one of us has an unconscious which is a side of us that is not really knowledgeable and is not really something that is up on the air, something that we tend to hide, kind of push within. And the psychoanalysis point of view is that this unconscious force that we all have is strongly affected by experiences in our childhood years. This is primarily the work of a guy named Sigmund Freud, whom you may have heard of. But Mary Ainsworth was trained under this idea. So Mary Ainsworth believed it and she proposed the concept of attachment theory. And this implies that it's very similar to what in biology is called imprinting. Attachment implies this idea that you, in the first couple of years of your, actually in the first year of your life, but you can take it to the first two years of life, you create a connection to a caregiver. You create a connection to a caregiver and this connection becomes your first relationship, becomes your attachment. You depend on someone to survive, so somebody has to take care over you in that first year of life. How is that person taking care of you? That's the concept of attachment. Because it's not only about the quality that you create that will allow for the outcome of your survival, but it's also about what kind of relationships will you develop afterwards? See, overall, there's four main types of attachment that were proposed by Ainsworth. Three of them have stood the test of time to be the main ones that are discussed in psychology. So, you can create a sense of secure attachment. And a secure type of attachment is one in which you, overall, feel comfort and feel an overall sense of security in relationships. So you approach relationships with a confident overall sense of self. If you specifically, if we narrow this down to romantic relationships, because this applies to all kinds of relationships, but if you think of romantic relationships, then when you start to date someone, you go in with a sort of a secure, positive approach. And you start to date someone and you don't have double ill intentions, you're not always all skeptic about it, you go in with a positive attitude. That's, that's the concept of a secure type of attachment. In the secure type of attachment, you move up in relationships, and if you maintain a relationship for the long run, cool, fantastic. You may not have a good luck in a relationship, but you move up to the next relationship with a still, with a still normal sense of self. In the concept of secure attachment, what follows is insecure attachment, Insecure avoidant. So insecure avoidant reflects on a person that typically draws a line and it's a person that tends to not give you that much of who they are. They draw a line and they're like, this is who you're going to meet. You're not going to cross this line. You're not going to get that close to me. You're going to maintain your distance. That's insecure attachment. Insecure avoidant. This theoretical idea is that you may have parents that were sort of neglectful on the kid or were, you know, sort of sort of distant from the kids. So kind of the kids began to learn how to self-care, self-take care of themselves. And as they grew older, these kids maintained that sense of separation, even from the closest relationships. Which ends up becoming a cycle, by the way. Parents that tend to be insecure avoidant end up giving this attention to their kids. Their kids would have this in their relationships and would have this with their own kids and it's ongoing and ongoing and ongoing. And there's a third type of attachment that is also called insecure and it's insecure ambivalent. 
Ambivalence is uncertainty. This relates to parents not that are neglectful or avoidant, but parents that are inconsistent. Parents that are sometimes there, sometimes are not there, that don't really provide the sense of security on the kid because when they're in, they're in and they give their full to their kids. But it's a problem because they're not always going to be there, so they're going to be there sometimes, they're going to be stepping away. They're going to be there sometimes, they're going to be stepping away. So how is this reflected on adults? In the concept of this theory, these are the kind of adults that end up suffocating relationships. So, even before you think of any romantic relationship, what kind of attachment are you bringing into the equation? Because this is something that establishes in the first couple of years of our life. None of us have memories of what happened in the first couple of years of our life, so we're not conscious about it. That is, living at a deeper level that is in our conscious. We may not know until we're placed in a situation of a romantic relationship. Turns out that you begin to date a good friend of yours. Some people have this concept that love comes out from friendship. And it could be, you know? I'm not saying that it doesn't, it could be. So perhaps you bring out yourself into a dating relationship with someone that had been your friend. And it turns out that when you start to date the person, the person shows off really ugly face where they become possessive. They suffocate, they, they expect you to be there the whole time, they demand too much out of yourself. At the base of this, there may be uh, avoidant, I'm sorry, not avoidant, uh, ambivalent type of attachment.